Hi everyone and welcome to another speed renovation. So today I'm renovating the Bedlington Boathouse in Brindleton Bay and this is another renovation that I'm doing for my cats and dogs let's play because I've already renovated a few homes in Brindleton Bay that are homes that sims who are part of the let's play but that we don't actually play within the let's play live in. Just because I like to, I like it to feel a little bit more personalized when we visit Sims, because you know how the houses are originally is just kind of boring and bland. So yeah, I just I just really enjoy going through and trying to make them look a little bit better, make them look a little bit more personalized. And this home is for the best friend of the maid Sim Piper, whose name is Bridget. So she lives here with her mother and her younger sister. And originally I was gonna go for kind of a shabby country look for this house because we did have you know laundry day stuff did come out like a month ago so I wanted this to be kind of like a build for that stuff pack although I guess it it isn't really so yeah I just want to go with more of a country style to kind of go along with that but then I put those windows that came with laundry day stuff at the back of the house like all along the back of the house and after I did that I realized then maybe that country shabby style wouldn't really work for the house like maybe that isn't what I should go with for it so then it kind of turned into this modern nautical theme for the interior because that's just what having those windows all along the back of the house like that's just the kind of vibe that that gave me and that also isn't really a style of interior that i've done like i don't think i've really done nautical style interior so it's just something a little different so i thought that'd be fun to go with especially since i've done a lot of country type interior since cats and dogs has come out so that at least made this house a little different than the Cape Cod houses that I've been doing recently. And I also used a slightly different color scheme on the outside of the house. So rather than blue, you know, the blue siding from cats and dogs with white accents, it's white with blue accents. So not that different, but it's a little different. And I do really like how it looks. And I feel like it just looks a lot fresher than how this house originally looked because I just, I wasn't really that happy with how the house originally looked. And I thought that this was gonna be a really difficult house to make look decent but in the end I think it ended up turning out pretty good I also didn't end up moving things around with it like there's just some weird things on the house like how the roof comes out like one tile past the edge of the house that I was going to change but then I decided not to to just leave it as is and just kind of work with the house how it was and in the end I'm just I'm just really happy with it turned out I, how it turned out and I really like how those overhangs look over some of the windows but unfortunately I couldn't really do a whole lot of landscaping with this build because there's hardly any lot around it so I just try to do what I could and just stick a few plants in here and there and we also have the clothes drying rack that came with laundry day stuff and I was going to stick the wash tub but then I I don't know I, I kind of didn't see this as being a family who would have a wash tub like you know they're they're a little more modern than that I think so I didn't really stick that out there but I still think the, the clothes drying rack is still a good thing to have in there. And I actually meant to have another kind of speed build up between, because the last speed build type video I had up was like another one of these speed renovations. I meant to have something else up in between that and renovating this house, but I kept trying to make houses for the laundry day stuff pack and I kept just not being really happy with how they turned out. Because I feel like I've, I've been in kind of a building rut in a way, although I did end up starting on a house that I am really happy with. It's like this huge modern, not really modern farmhouse, but it's like, a more modernized farmhouse kind of a deal which I was really happy with but it's just a huge house and right now I'm not really in the mood to deal with like furnishing a huge house so I just kind of put that off to the side and decide to just work on something smaller instead in the meantime but I will finish that in the near future and then I also had a seafood restaurant I made that I need to upload the video for but I was being really stubborn about having the next building video I upload be something where I use stuff from laundry day stuff but then as I said, I was just in a building rut, so I kept starting on stuff and then not liking it and then scrapping it. And I've also just been really busy in general in my personal life because I did talk about this in, you know, the last speed renovation I did, but I am trying to buy a house or actually when I recorded that video, I was just at the very beginning of the process of trying to buy a house where like we contacted the real estate agent, we were getting ready to start looking at houses, but now we we're actually well under contract for a house like we're actually closing on a house in less than a week which is crazy like this whole process just moved way faster than I thought it was going to so I just had a lot going I've just been having a lot going on with that lately and just the whole contract period of buying a house is a lot more involved than I thought it was going to be like I knew there's going to be a lot to it but it was just more than I thought it was going to be especially since our contract period was kind of short because we've only been under contract for like a little over a month which maybe isn't really that short like that might be the normal amount of time for the contract period of the house 
But yeah, the contract period is just the period of time where you're trying to get approved for a home loan and getting the house inspected and it has to be appraised and all of that stuff and you're trying to get homeowners insurance and doing like all the things to make it so you can, you know, end up buying the house. So yeah, it's just a lot going on. So that's why I haven't been uploading as regularly recently. Like I haven't had a video up in a little over a week. And unfortunately, until I'm settled into the new house, uploads are probably going to continue to be irregular because, you know, we're, we're going to be closing on the house this weekend and the weekend after that, we're going to be moving and then we're going to be finishing up the packing. And then I'm also planning on just loading my car up with boxes and bringing those boxes over to the new house after work the week before we move in. So yeah, I'm really not going to have a lot of time to upload, but I'm going to try to do the best I can. Like this next week might not be that bad because... I don't know, it, it depends. Like, I don't know what all is gonna have to happen, you know, this week since it's right before closing. But I might be able to get a couple of videos up this week. We'll see. But then after that, I might have to take a break for, you know, a couple of weeks from uploading because also we're gonna have to like, wire the new house for Ethernet because I don't have Wi Fi in my computer and I don't really feel like buying a Wi Fi card for it. And I could use like one of those cheap little USB Wi Fi dongles, but I wouldn't really get a very good signal. So I'd rather just wait till we can wire the whole house for Ethernet to do that and then also there's the issue of actually getting ethernet like i'm or not ethernet but you know actually getting internet because i'm not sure if we're gonna have that right away but yeah we'll see what happens hopefully within you know a week or two after i move in i'll be able to get back to moving video to, to make cheese to making videos but there's just so much going on right now that unfortunately i'm having a little bit more trouble focusing on making videos but i'll do what i can until i'm all settled in but still this is just a really exciting time right now and i can't believe that I'm about to be a homeowner, which is of course gonna mean a whole lot of new responsibility, but I think it'll be fine. Like, cause we've been renting a house, so I've got it, kind of gotten a taste for what it's like to maintain a house. Although now if something breaks and we just call our landlord, it's taken care of that way. So we'll have to take care of things ourselves, but at least it's, it's not as bad as going from an apartment to owning a house. So I think it'll be an easier transition. But I did want to talk about the whole house hunting part of it. Cause that is the, fun and a bit less stressful part of the process. Although we actually only spent less than a week looking for houses, which I was really surprised by. Like I was worried that it was, it was gonna take us months to find a place because another thing is that our lease expired or ends at the end of April. So we we're just really worried about being able to be moved in in time for that and all of that. But yeah, we found our house within a week of looking, but we did look at like seven houses in that week. So we just did a whole bunch of looking in one week and lucked out and found something we liked during that period. But there were some interesting things in some of the houses that we looked at. So the first day we looked at houses was a little bit of a bummer because we looked at three houses and two of them I really liked. I was super excited to see and thought maybe one of those two would be the house that we ended up buying. And then the other one I was kind of uh, on, but my fiance really liked it. So I was like, okay, we'll, we'll look at it and check it out. Although I'm pretty sure I'm not going to want this one at all. So the first house we looked at was one of the ones I was really excited about. And from the pictures, it looked pretty nice. Like it looked like it had really nice wood floors, the kitchen and bathroom stuff were a little dated, but that's fine. Like I, I you know, I, I expected to not be able to get a house with an updated kitchen and all that. I was fine with that. I was fine with doing that down the road. Like what I really cared about was that the house was in good shape and wasn't gonna have any majorly expensive things that need to be fixed. And also that it was something we'd be able to move into right away because we did not have time to be able to renovate something and then move into it. And I just did not want to deal with that. But when we actually went to the house, it did not look as nice as it did in the pictures. Like they definitely took the pictures from more flattering angles, which is a thing that always happens with houses. Like they always use those room stretching lenses that make the rooms look way bigger than they are. But those floors I thought were really nice wood floors were like, they're like cheap laminate. Like they looked almost like peel and stick flooring. Like it just looked like a picture of wood put on the floor and was like starting to peel up in some spots. And then there was like a window in the kitchen that was falling apart and it was a window that was gonna be really expensive to fix. And there's just stuff falling apart in the house and it was vacant and had been vacant for a very long period of time. So things had just kind of fallen into disrepair a little bit. And there was a lot of mold in the basement and it was just kind of gross down there. So yeah, that was not a house we wanted to get. And they also just way overpriced it. Like my real estate agent was saying they should have priced it a hundred thousand lower than what it was going for. So that house was a hard no, like we were absolutely not gonna get it. And then the second one was the one that I wasn't really that enthused about seeing and that house lived up to my expectations. Like it had similar issues to the first one where it was vacant and there was just, they renovated some things in it, but they did in a really weird cheap way. And you could tell that they cut corners and it had like a really weird layout. Like there's two bedrooms upstairs and then three 
bedrooms in the basement, but they weren't really legal bedrooms because they had tiny windows and one was didn't even have any windows. So they really couldn't have been, shouldn't have been marking that house as a five bedroom house. So that one was a no, but then the last one we saw that day was really nice. Like it was just really cute and charming Cape Cod. And you know, if you've watched my videos, you know that I like Cape Cods. And you know, we were actually thinking about making an offer on that one. Um, Cause you know, it wasn't like fully updated, but it was, it was really nice and it had been really well cared for. It wasn't like the first two that we saw, but then we found out the next day that it was actually under contract when we went to go look at it. So we wouldn't have need, we wouldn't have even be, been able to make an offer on it. So it kind of sucked that we were looking at a house that was already under contract. So that real estate agent really should have told us before we even looked at it and got our hopes up. So we were pretty disappointed after finding that out because we just, we had kind of gone a heart set on that house and we were really worried that we weren't gonna be able to find anything else that we liked because we were looking within a specific price range and there wasn't a lot in that price range. Like that was the best house in that price range. So we were super duper worried. So then we looked at a couple more houses. I think it was the next day. And those houses were interesting. Um, so the first one we saw was this, it was like the split four. And like, usually I don't like split four homes because there are those ones where you walk in the front door and you immediately have to either go up or down. Like it's, you're kind of in between the two levels of the house. And for some, for whatever reason, I just don't really like those. But the house looked really nice in the pictures. Like it looked like it was renovated. Like it had an updated kitchen and really nice wood floors. And it was also really cheap. So I was just like, wow, this is like such a great deal. I don't know what it's been doing on the market for so long. Let's go look at this one. So when we went to go see this house, we walked in through the back of the house, like through, you know, like some sliding doors that were at the back of the house because that's where they put the lockbox. And it looked really nice upstairs. So I was thinking, okay, you know, because this was after we... No, I don't think this was after, this was after we looked at the Cape Cod and we're like, okay, well maybe this house is good. Like maybe we should consider this house instead of that one. Like it might be better. But that all went out the window when we walked down to the basement because as we started going down to the basement, I saw black speckling all over the walls. And at first I was like, huh, did they do some kind of weird black on white sponge painting thing down there? Like that's a weird design choice, but hey, everyone has different cha cha you know, tastes. So maybe that's what's going on down there. But no, it was mold. And it was everywhere and it was like, it was so bad that it felt almost like the upside down was trying to come through this basement. Like it was like all over every wall in the basement, there was mold, like just black specks or like just black patches of mold everywhere and on the ceiling too. And there was like a fourth bedroom or no, it was like a third bedroom in the base or one, one of the bedrooms was in the basement. I opened the door to that black mold all over the walls and ceiling in that room too. The carpet was also black in some spots, like especially near the door, which I guess is where like whatever flood came in through. Cause apparently what happened was the basement flooded and then, um, cause also the house is a foreclosure. So it's bank owned. And I guess the basement flooded at some point over the summer and they never fixed it. They just let the water just kind of drain out of the basement or just go away on its own. So the house just sat and the basement got crazy moldy. Like that's just the worst mold I've ever seen in a house. And, they also had a, a bathroom down there and you could see that the water had come up about two feet in there. So the basement flooded with like two feet of water and the bank didn't do anything with it. And the best part is in the description for the house, like on the, the realty websites, it said some form of well-maintained and shows, you know, love or, you know, shows, shows pride of ownership twice. Like it, it says well-maintained home shows pride of ownership. Yeah, I don't think that bank really prided their ownership of that house very much. It was a shame though, cause it was a beautiful house. Like I do not like split fours, but I was willing to consider for this house. But nope, it was just, I don't, it's, the basement was just an awful moldy mess. And the thing is, I also have asthma. And one of my requirements for a home was that it not require me to use my rescue inhaler. And four out of the seven homes we looked at failed that. Like I had to use my rescue inhaler after going in those homes, especially moldville and the thing is that's so dangerous though like that amount of mold is so bad for you to breathe in and i didn't even realize until we got to the basement although i was wondering why the house smelled like a moldy basement as soon as we walked into it and they were just showing people through that house um so yeah that that kind of sucked and then the other house we saw that day was a house that was a flip like it was just fully renovated and I wasn't originally wanting to look at a flip just because while it is nice to have something that's fully renovated, I, I actually don't like them a lot of the times because everything's just beige washed and is just done in a way that's supposed to be pleasing for everyone. I find that sometimes it lacks 
personality. So that's not, that wasn't really what I wanted, but after things not going so well, you know, after not being completely happy with what we saw the first day, I was just trying to look at, I just wanted to look at some different things and just kind of consider some different options. And this house, they, they did some, some interesting things on renovating it. Like they kind of cut some weird corners in a way. Like, first of all, the house was like, was really small. It had really tiny bedrooms. Like I think the biggest bedroom is like 10 feet by 10 feet, which is fine if that's the smallest bedroom in a house, but this was the biggest one. And then, and then on top of that, they made the entrance to each bedroom diagonal, which cut into the space even more. And the kitchen was nice, but they did things like they put the cabinet handles on crooked. And I was also looking at one of the vents and there was just dust on the vent, which means that there's that dust all over the house's HVAC system probably. So you need to clean it out. And I mean, it looked nice, but you could just tell they cut corners because they also, like the flooring was new, but it's also marked up in scratch and spots. And then the basement was also this weird funhouse maze basement that I think used to be a cellar because the house was built in the 50s. And I think it used to be a cellar basement that you could only get to from the outside, but they tried to turn it into an actual basement. So I'm pretty sure the staircase going down to the basement was not legal because I'm five feet tall and my head grazed the, the ceiling going down the stairs. Like if I were to like run down the stairs, I have a good chance of smacking my head into the wall. And yeah, which like if I have five foot, five feet tall cannot, you know, have to watch my head going down the stairs. That is a huge problem. And I think the highest ceiling in the basement was like six and a half feet tall. Cause my fiance is about six feet tall. And in most parts of the basement, his head was almost touching the ceiling. And that wasn't even where there was ducks. Like this is just the ceiling in general. And it's kind of hard to describe the layout they had, but they just had a lot of weird tight hallways and like doorways. And it seemed like a really poor use of space for a home that was fully renovated. And also in one spot, the ceiling was so, cause it, like you could really, like the basement was super slanted. Like there was a pretty huge difference in height between one end of the basement and another. And in one part of the basement, the ceiling probably was not even six feet tall. And they cut about ages off the bottom of a door. Um, cause usually like if you want to, customize a door like you know get a custom height you should probably cut it evenly for both the top and the bottom but they cut it all from the bottom so the door handle was about two feet off the ground so you had to like bend down to grab the door handle to open and close the door which is just like a really weird thing so after that I was just kind of like yeah if this is what they did that you can see I don't even want to know what they did that you can't even see like there was um like one spot where the carpet was stained purple like bleach got on the carpet so it was just purple in a patch of it so it was just like like it that just does not instill in confidence in me as far as what they did behind the walls. Cause that is like a 60 year old house. So who knows what's behind those walls. So that house was a no, and I, w I wasn't really even too keen on it to begin with. So after that, we were feeling kind of down and we we're worried about finding the right house, but we're looking again later in the week and found a couple more houses that we were interested in seeing. So we went ahead and saw those and one of them, you could tell someone had heavily smoked in it. Everything had a yellow stain to it. I had to use my rescue inhaler after being in that house because of all the odor from the cigarette smoke. So that one was a definite, definite no. But the other house we saw that night was the one that we are buying because we just, we went to that house and we were like looking through it and we had nothing that we complained about. Like, cause usually when we go through the house, we find all these issues and we'd be like, okay, no, this house is going to work. Like, is it going to work for this reason? Or you just walk into the house and get kind of a bad vibe from it and you just wanted to get out of it and we're like, no, I do not see myself living here. But this house, there wasn't really anything we found wrong with it. Like there's things we want to improve in the future. But as I was walking through, I was like, this just feels like home and it was nicer than what we thought we were going to get. So yeah, we ended up like starting on writing an offer that night. And yeah, a little bit about the house is that it's a brick rancher, like a, a three bedroom, two bathroom, brick ranch house and I like it. I'm, I'm just so happy with it. And also is, it also actually has a renovated kitchen, which is not something that I thought we would get, but yeah, I'm, I'm really happy that we don't have to do that work in, f in the future. And I mean, there are some things that we'd like to update down the road, but everything's fine as is like, it's moving already. Like we don't, there's nothing we really want to do to it in the near future. So yeah, once we're all moved in, I'll probably make a speed build of the house so I can just kind of talk about it a little bit more and I guess maybe show you all a little bit more how it looks if that's something you'll be interested in seeing. But I'm just so excited to move into this house and I'm just so glad and thankful that we found it because it is just like pretty much the exact kind of house that we wanted. While I was upset about not being able to get that Cape Cod, I think this house is better because the Cape Cod did have some quirks too and also was older than this one. So 
It was also being sold as is, which means if anything's wrong with it, the seller won't fix it. And we have to deal with it ourselves, which is kind of questionable. So it just ended up working out pretty well in the end. And um, yeah, I'm sorry I didn't really talk about the build that much this time. I was just so excited about this whole house, you know, house buying thing. It's kind of a big deal and it's kind of relating. You know what I mean? You're watching a video of a house being built in The Sims and I'm talking about houses in real life. So yeah, but really quick, this is the bedroom of Bridget and her sister, who I think was named Kendall. So I ended up just turning the upstairs into two separate bedrooms and I put their mother in the smallest one and then gave them the biggest one. I felt like that made a little bit more sense. And also like for the downstairs, as I'm sure you noticed, I just turned it all into one big open area, which just was kind of the, the best thing to do with that, you know, those large windows in the back of it. So yeah, that's kind of what I meant by the modern nautical style because this is an older home, but I thought it'd be kind of cool to make it look like it was renovated to be more modern in a way while still kind of keeping some traditional touches. So, you know, that's why you have the grass, the not grass railing, the glass railing, but then you also have the you know kind of more traditional fireplace. So I, I just really like how everything came out with this house. I think my favorite part of the downstairs though is the dining area because I just love how it looks when you look out towards those big windows and see the beach past the dining room. Um, so yeah, I'm just so happy with how that turned out. I think this is my favorite of these renovations that I've done so far. And uh, yeah, this is the last of the smaller homes I'm gonna be renovating. So I'm not completely sure if I'm gonna try to tackle one of the larger mansions. We'll, we'll see in the future. Maybe maybe I'll feel like it at some point, but you know, that, that's probably not gonna be for a while because there's just so many builds that I wanna make soon. Um, but yeah, we're almost done with the building part of the video. So as usual, if you wanna download this, there'll be a link to do so in the description. and. Also have other stuff in there on how to find it in-game. And yeah, that's going to be all for me. So I hope you enjoyed the rest of the video.